month of the first semester already. The hot topic of last week's vlog was my assignment that I needed to do and I actually submitted that yesterday. I've been trying to take more time off at the weekends recently but when push comes to shove and I do have an assignment due I thought it was probably just worth me going to the library on Sunday and just focusing until I finished it and I'm very nervous to receive the feedback because I was saying this to Sid the other day, I don't feel like I have any kind of idea of what stage I'm at academically at the moment because even though obviously I was submitting essays and doing exams last year in Copenhagen, it didn't count. All I had to do was pass. So I feel like I had a very different mindset and it's marked on a different scale. They have a different teaching style, a different exam style. So coming back to Leeds, I just feel like I have no idea kind of the level that I'm at right now. I've got a bit of a condensed week this week because I'm actually going to Oxford on Friday to visit my brother and then Bristol on Saturday to visit my sister. They've both started university this year. They started in September and I haven't seen them both since they've gone. So I'm having a little weekend away. I'm going from Oxford to Bristol and then back to Leeds on Sunday. And the reason that that makes my week a bit condensed is because I'm essentially losing the Friday because my train is at 9 a.m. or something ridiculous. And Fridays are normally the day that I just take off to edit the vlogs and do other social media stuff. So that day is gonna have to be pushed to Thursday, meaning I've technically only got three days this week to actually do uni work. Today, I'm gonna do my everyday uni stuff. So I've got some online learning stuff to do. I need to prep for a seminar for my social media module that I've got this afternoon. And of course, I've got a lot of reading to do. Before I go to uni, I'm just gonna plan out my to-do list and what I've got on this week. So I thought it was probably worth me showing you that too. So this is what I use to keep track of everything that I need to do on a weekly basis. So I have all of my modules up here, the week, and then as you can see, a kind of to-do list within each module. This is actually available to download if you go and find the Notion video that I did earlier this summer. So I just look at my Google Calendar to see what I have on that week and then input it into here. And then once I've filled this out, I then write a general to-do list on this page, which is also available to download. So today I need to do some seminar prep for my social media module. I need to do some online learning learning tasks. I think I'll be doing a similar thing tomorrow that I'll just be reading. And then on Wednesday, I'm hoping to focus on my dissertation again.
back. I am back because we are currently planning where we want to go for New Year's. Last year we were in Lanzarote. This year we're going to be in Dublin. Mm. We ended up there having looked at like loads of like UK places. You know there's like little lodge things, those little small homes with like hot tubs and stuff. We had a look at them. But I think we've left it too late to actually do that yeah. so i also don't know how i feel about being in the middle of nowhere i feel like on new year's you need somewhere with by buoyancy even though neither of us will probably make it to midnight um yeah, especially because our flights that we've looked at are at eight in the morning so if anyone's got any dublin recommendations please let us know because honestly know. we are clueless at the and minute and what we should do on new year's specifically thanks <laughs> Good morning, it is Tuesday today. It's currently 10 to nine, so I'm running a little bit behind my routine today. Sid stayed over last night because it was quite late by the time we'd finished booking everything for Dublin. And I feel like just having him here this morning just delayed my routine a bit. But I'm still gonna head into uni as soon as I'm ready. I've got a dissertation lecture today, this afternoon, and that's my only contact hour. Although I feel like the lecture is gonna stress me out a bit because I'm pretty sure it's on the methodology of our dissertation and I don't even really know the topic of what I'm doing yet. I managed to blitz through quite a lot of tasks yesterday quite quickly so I was really pleased about that because it means that I've only got one recorded lecture that I need to do today and then the rest of today and tomorrow I can focus on my dissertation but I'm gonna come home from uni about four today I think because I then need to make dinner before we're going to life drawing with Art Society at six this evening which I'm looking forward to because we haven't managed to go in the past couple of weeks because we keep forgetting to get the tickets. <laughs> slower start to the day today because I slept really restlessly last night. I woke up at four in the morning and was just wide awake. I think maybe because I was drinking last night, I had that blood sugar crash in the middle of the night. I don't really know the science. I just saw something about that a few weeks ago. So I ended up getting up a bit later today and I just thought I'd stay at home until my seminar at 11. So I've just been doing a few little admin things. I had a whole backlog of messages and emails to catch up on. And then yeah, I've got a gender inequality seminar at 11. And then straight after that, I've got an hour and a half lecture for it as well. And then this afternoon is when I'm gonna work on my dissertation again. I actually made really good 
progress on it yesterday so I'm really pleased because it feels like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders because I haven't really looked at anything to do with my dis since my meeting last Wednesday because I had the deadline for another assignment that was today but I completed on Sunday <laughs> and if you watched the last vlog you'll know that during that meeting my whole idea kind of unraveled <laughs> and I had to kind of go back to the drawing board and redefine what I was doing and I managed to do that yesterday and I'm really happy with the concept that I've come up with. It's actually so much better than my original idea which just shows that everything happens for a reason and my new idea is just going to be so much easier to collect the data for and to analyse the data for and that's obviously a massive part of your disc and and if that's simple enough to do, then that's gonna make a massive difference. Whereas my previous idea would have been quite messy and hard to collect the data. So it's all worked out well in the end. And today I just need to work on doing more of my literature search and kind of coming up with a plan of exactly how that's gonna look. And then I've got yoga at five. And after that, I'm hoping to get an early night because I think this week is gonna be a week of disrupted sleep because I imagine that I'll also be getting a few late nights this weekend too. But anyway, I'm gonna head off to uni now. Today. We've also got Sid here and we're about to head off to our 9am lecture. I've also got two seminars I think today. I've got another really bitty day. I've got a seminar at 1 for my strategic management module and then I've got a seminar at 3 for my leadership module and in between all of those things I'm going to try and start editing this vlog because as I mentioned at the start of this week I'm going to Oxford at 9 tomorrow morning so even though I'm sure I will be able to get some editing done on the train it's obviously not the most ideal working environment. today I'm about to head off to the station I've packed a little suitcase for the weekend which is probably really excessive I'm probably not gonna end up wearing anything that's in the suitcase but I didn't have any other bag that was really big enough I'm not particularly thriving this morning because I actually went out for dinner last night I completely forgot to film any of this which is really annoying because it's the most interesting thing that I've done this week and I literally forgot that I was trying to weekly vlog but it was my friend 
friend's birthday. So we went to this Greek Turkish restaurant. It was so nice. And then we also went for drinks afterwards. And my plan was to only stay for a few because I've got an early train this morning. However, that didn't really happen. And if we fast forward a few hours, it was about midnight and I was doing karaoke. I was stood on a stage with my friend screaming lay all your love on me by abba at the top of my lungs down a microphone so to be honest for everyone's sake it's probably good that i don't have any footage of that i'm gonna end this vlog here though i'm not gonna vlog this weekend however i might do a mini vlog over on tiktok so make sure to go and follow me over there and i'm sure i'll be posting instagram stories and instagram posts too so i'll see you in the next video bye